A lot of my parents are curious about math counts, so let's get into it. The mission of the organization is to help middle school students in the U.S with their math and problem solving skills. The organization sponsors three programs. They sponsor the National Math Club, where they provide materials to schools, like math games and instructions for teachers. These materials are most appropriate for students who are new to math contests. The challenge level is below what you will typically see in the Math Counts competition. Math Counts also sponsors the Math Video Challenge. Student teams produce a video that illustrates the solution to a Math Counts problem. You can find examples of these great videos at the Math Counts website and on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Math Counts competition series. This is the premier math competition for students in the United States attending middle school. There are many live events, and for many students, this is their first opportunity to find other students who enjoy solving hard math problems. Math Counts reaches many thousands of middle schools in the US with free materials, and many thousands of students participate in contests within their school to determine who will represent the school in the Math Counts competitions. Students selected to re represent their middle school compete with students from other local middle schools in the chapter competition. Winners of each chapter advance to the state competition and four students from each state compete in the national competition. I've been involved with Math Counts volunteering both locally and at the national level, and I think it's a terrific organization. The adults involved with Math Counts care a lot about students and want to ensure they have a fair and positive experience. Here is their contact information. I encourage you to contact them with any questions. They are very responsive. Let's talk about eligibility. This is a middle school contest for students in the United States. Overseas students typically do not participate unless they are a U.S. citizen enrolled in a school operated by the State Department or the Department of Defense. If you are a U.S. citizen overseas and you are unsure about your eligibility, contact Math Counts. Students are in grades six through eight. This is determined by their school of record, not their math ability. Many Math Counts competitors are studying math that is typically taught in high school and beyond. Students are entitled to three years of eligibility. So I advise younger students to not use up their year of eligibility competing against other students who have had more time and more experience solving harder problems. Allow your students to have a level playing field and recommend that they wait until they are in grade six. In the meantime, I recommend younger students practice and prepare so that when they reach sixth grade, they'll be at the top of their ability. In the meantime, Younger students can participate in other contests like Math Kangaroo, and the AMC 8 in particular aligns really well with the Math Counts chapter level in difficulty. Teams can represent schools and homeschools. You register at the Math Counts website. You want to make sure you get your registration completed by the end of the calendar year. The first big event is the chapter competition in February. The state competition is the month after that, and the national competition is in May. If your student is competing in other contests, there may be a conflict with the national competition, so keep an eye out. Each school is represented by 12 students at the chapter competition. The top four students compete individually and on the team round. The remaining eight students will compete individually only. There are four rounds in math counts. The sprint round and the target round are the individual rounds. All 12 students that represent a school participate in the sprint round and the target round. The team round is for the top four students only. Competitions typically end with a countdown round. Let's take a look at the sprint round, the first written round. The focus of the sprint round is on speed and accuracy. Students have 40 minutes to complete 30 problems, so you really have to be fast on this round. There's no multiple choice in math counts. You fill in the blanks and the units are provided, so students only write in the numerical answer. No calculators are allowed on the sprint round. The focus of the target round is solving multi-step problems. Students solve four pairs of problems and they have six minutes per pair. If you look at the example on the right, you will see a sheet with two problems. 
Students will have six minutes to solve these two problems. At the end of six minutes, a proctor will collect these test papers and then pass out problems number three and four, and students have another six minutes to complete those problems, and so on. The target round assumes that students will be using a calculator, but you may not need a calculator to solve all the problems. The final written round is the team round. The focus here is on collaboration and teamwork. Students have 20 minutes to solve 10 problems, and it assumes that students have calculators, but you may not need one to solve every problem. It is best if students divide and conquer the problems on this round. Do not have all four students attempt to solve problem number one, agree on the answer, and then proceed to problem number two. With only 20 minutes, teams will not be able to maximize their score. Student discussion is permitted. Students on a team will be seated together at one table. Again, the top four students representing the school participate in the team round. The remaining eight students sit this round out. Chapter and state competitions typically end with a countdown round. The focus here is on speed and mental math. This is a game show style, typically on a stage in front of the other students and parents and other spectators. It's an oral competition. Students have 45 seconds per problem, and they're going head to head, competing against one other student, typically in a bracket style. The countdown round may or may not be unofficial, and it may or may not count for advancement to state or nationals. For more specific information about advancement and the countdown round, contact your Math Counts chapter coordinator or state coordinator. Let's talk about advancing to state. Students participating in Math Counts can advance as either a team or as an individual. Students will have an individual score calculated according to this formula. The students participating in the team round will also have a team score. The top four students will compete also as individuals. This structure is well thought out. Whether you're the top student on your team or the least experienced student, everyone has a place and there should be no hard feelings. The minimum score to advance will vary by the chapter. Some chapters are quite competitive and students need nearly perfect scores on all three rounds in order to advance. Many other chapters aren't quite as competitive. Let's talk about preparing for the competition. The best way to prepare is to study old exams Sprint and target rounds can be assigned as homework, and then students can meet in person to discuss the problems they didn't know how to solve. Team rounds are best practiced in person, so students can work out the kinks. Countdown round is also very helpful to do together in class. School round materials are typically the least challenging, and national level exams are the most difficult. Math Counts also offers Math Counts minis, which are written problem sets with embedded videos. This is especially helpful to fill in any gaps that students may have. Math Counts also publishes an annual handbook with a lot more practice problems. It is most efficient if students challenge themselves in their preparation. If chapter level exams are too easy, then students should be preparing state level exams. Always level up. I'm a big fan of Math Counts. I think it's a really terrific program at all levels. If you have any questions about Math Counts, you can reach me at mathproblemsolvingskills.com. Good luck.